Hey everyone, and welcome back to Bob Tendo Power. Today I'm going to play a little personal favorite of mine. Grizor. Or better known as Contra. But this is the Japanese version I'm going to be playing because I just like it more. You know, little added uh, effects and a storyline. I gotta say, as much as I love this game, this cover just... It, it makes me think of Arnold Schwarzenegger and you know, Sylvester Stallone fighting the aliens. And, uh, yeah. You know what? I wonder what that would look like. Let's find out. Yeah, I can see it working. <laughs> so basically, we'll have Dutch and Rambo going against the aliens here. So, let's get down to it. So here's Grizor. Slightly different intro than what we got over here. What is Grizor? Well, it is a master of the fighting spirit and guerrilla tactics. So it says. So let's begin. Right off the bat, we're going to notice something different. A storyline. So for anyone who doesn't know the story of Contra, here it is. You know, AD 2631, the story begins when New Zealand reports that a meteor crashed into the nearby ocean. God, this text goes slow. And... Okay, so two years later, Red Falcons begins the destruction of the humanity. text needs to go a little faster. Oh, I still love this game, though. Anyway, two of Earth's Marines, Bill and Lance, become the Grizor. Their mission? Stop the world's... Destruction. Though I'd rather take it as, you know, Dutch and Rambo. Anyway, another nice little map thing added. Yeah. Uh, Really makes me think of another video game. <laughs> so, uh, won't bother saying it at the moment, anyway. Let's see if you know. One thing I want to say right now about picking up those R's, I really hate to admit this, but for the longest time, I, I thought that those were rests, you know, like, like an extra life. So I thought I was collecting extra lives this whole entire time that I was collecting those. <clears throat> And it was only recently brought to my attention that it actually stood stands for rapid fire. Or rate of fire, I guess. Making your rate of fire faster and you know, disperse more. So I had no I had no clue about that. So I, I feel really stupid admitting that I didn't know that. But whatever. So I wanna say thanks to John for pointing that out to me. No? Oh, awesome man. So there's another rate of fire. <laughs> this is another thing I've noticed right off the bat. Look at the top. The animation of the trees. You know, little small things like that. I don't know why we didn't get over here. It just makes me enjoy this version of the game that much more. Other than they just added cut, little cutscenes in between each level. <clears throat> and done. Here's our first little cutscene. I arrived at point A, beginning the infiltration. Is it still not coming to you what game this reminds you of? Now we're at the base. Simple shit. I don't really even have to talk about the gameplay too much itself. I mean, we've, we've all played Contra over the years. There's some that are even way better than me at playing, so I'm not saying that I'm awesome either. 
This just played a, you know, a really big part of my childhood when I was a kid. You know, up until I played this game, I'd only been playing stuff like you know, Mega Man, Super Mario Brothers. You know, nothing really too extravagant or action-packed and fast-paced. So when when Contra came out, holy shit, that fucking blew my mind. And I I don't even think I was able to beat the first level for, for quite a few years. But, yeah. yeah. Since then, I've grown to just immensely love this game. Now, I've played the other incarnations, too. Oh, Super C is awesome. <clears throat> I have nothing against that at all. And, and of course, you know, Contra 3, The Alien Wars. Can't get, that's just too awesome. But, I don't know. There's something about the original here that I, always stays close to my heart. And I, I destroyed who? Gary's been destroyed. So now on the point B. Sorry, I'm not good at pronouncing names too well, so... That boss was Gary. On to the waterfall. One of my favorite theme songs. Or if it seems like I'm just blasting through this, I... I have to admit that I tried making an earlier recording, and you know, not, not did not too bad, but just started really screwing it up. So now I just kind of feel like I'm rushing to kind of catch up to where I was before. For the longest time, this was about as far as I was able to get into the game. With, without using the 30 lives code mine. Now there's there's no use of the Konami code. Oh, we're coming up to near the end here. I guess I should mention another title I watched a lot, or sorry, not watched, played a lot was uh, Operation C on Game Boy there. Pretty, mu pretty much the Game Boy version of Super C. But yeah, I had, I had a lot of fun with that one too when I was a kid. A lot of memories. I can't help but think that this game was very heavily based off of Predator. <laughs> you know, and a bunch of other Arnold action movies back in the day. I arrived at point B, beginning the infiltration. I, I thought we already started the infiltration. But okay. On to base two. A level that usually gives me problems at the boss, so we'll see. As long as I keep spread here, I should be okay. I don't really concern myself too much with trying to kill everything that's on the screen in these spots. Let's just get rid of those fucking red circle things as fast as possible and next room. So yeah, I, I don't know, I guess it probably helped that I, I grew up with all the Arnold movies too. So I was a big action action movie fan, so when this came out, I just, I don't know, I latched on to it. It, just, it worked for me. Oh, you're, you're going against an alien terrorist group or some fucking thing like that. I don't know, it's not really explained too, uh, too well, but who cares? Oh, 
Flame. So like with this end room, there's no reason to try and kill everyone on the screen there. Just go for the middle thing and that's, that's all you gotta worry about. Alright, so can I do this without dying? I don't mind these red guys, it's fucking, yeah, these guys. that guy without at least losing one life. Godalgama destroyed. Leaving for boys base at point C. And now the snowfield, one of the biggest changed levels of this version of Contra. And it does make this level a little harder too. The snow is in the forefront now rather than being in the background. Which uh, I really hate to say can sometimes make it a little difficult knowing when a fucking bullet is coming your way. See, it's bad enough when it's on when it's on its own like this in the normal version, but when it starts come when it comes back to the forefront like this, yeah. See, there's a little animation in the trees. Like, why why didn't we get that over here? It's not like it would have been that much to add. Oh, fuck. I didn't really want that other thing. You know, the clear screen bomb thing or whatever that is. guys. Stand as far left as possible and just shoot away. You should be fine. Well, instead of the, you know, this being kind of like Dutch and Rambo on the cover there, it, sh it should be more, if this is based more off Predator, it should be more like Dutch and Billy. Guy kind of looks more like Billy anyway from Predator. But it's all good. Alright, finally boss time. Very happy I haven't lost a life yet. So let's see if I can get rid of this guy. Whatever he is. <laughs> well, that was nice and simple. I guess it doesn't matter what he is. He doesn't stay on the screen long enough anyway. Arriving at point C, further communication would be impossible. We'll destroy the base's energy core. Ah, energy zone. Which is kind of the one too bad thing. Oh no, never mind. It's a different. Le it's the next level I'm thinking of for what I was gonna say. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Don't pay attention to me. Fucking music for this game is great, though. If you guys like hearing heavy metal versions of video game covers, I highly suggest checking out Vomitron. Uh, his album, No Nest for the Wicked, does a wicked version of Contra. I 
hate these things. What? I shouldn't have even died from that. That was fucking awesome. Now I'm kind of pissed off. Sorry, guys. That was like a near perfect run. Until then. And that's usually what I mean by getting silver surfered. Fuck. You know, I was really hoping on getting a no death run. So much for that. Well, at least I got my life back, but still. Well, one of them. And now we're coming up against Bennett. <laughs> I don't know. Either Bennett from Commando, or it's uh, either Hawk or Animal from the from the Road Warriors. likes to jump around and throw discs at you or something. No, he's toast. <laughs> nice animation. It's kind of cool, though. I, I still like it. The base is sabotaged. Moving to the next point. I have to move faster. Into the hangar. That's what I was going to mention. That out of all the levels on here, they reused the theme from the level one. You know, I'm, I'm cool with that. I really love the jungle theme, don't get me wrong. But they couldn't just come up with one more theme? You know, they, the Aliens Lair has its own theme song. Oh. Uh, at least I'm back up here, I guess. Not like it matters. Whoa! Well, yeah. Definitely so much for my no death run. I tried. But no worries, we'll still beat this. Oh, I forgot that those stupid fucking things can, those carts can kill you if you're in front of it. That was just stupid. Well, let's try and you know, play this properly here. Spread, yeah. Oh, come on. I should have easily made that. Now I lost my spread. I should think about installing spike walls in my apartment. That just come up as, as you're walking towards them. this level here. Can I find another easy way through it? Yep. Just go straight for that. Look at that. <laughs> Toast. We're back to seeing a shirtless Dutch again. This must be the base. Now exposing the enemy territory. The enemy's there. But some more cool like animations going on in this level too. You know, like everything is moving. It's it, it it looks like some sort of secreted resin. But I'm not really sure what it's secreted from. Anyway. Shoot shoot the shrimp here and now we got an alien head. <laughs> Gotta say, that's uh, it's one ugly motherfucker. 
If that shit's not based off of Alien, I don't know. I'm not really sure what these guys are supposed to be based off of. But we don't care, because I'm at the Alien's Lair. And this is almost done. Whoa! Should've been paying attention there. It'd be nice if I can keep the spread here. Sometimes that jump can be sh shitty to make. Whoa. Alright, here we go. It no! Fuck, I never get to keep the spread. Alright, whatever. Toast in this. This bitch is toast. One more death just at the end. <laughs> Different music right off the bat. Different ending cinematic. Get to the chopper! Man, I have destroyed the alien heart. Though I'm not sure what it was attached to, if the island was alive or not. Yep. Get to the chopper and take off to go to IHOP or something. <laughs> and that's that. The only difference is that they didn't add, you know, the little congratulations, you've destroyed the vile Red Falcon and saved the universe. Consider yourself a hero. Doesn't seem to be here in this version, but that's okay. This, this kind of plays out more like a movie, I guess. Right on to the graphic designers. You now for adding all those little cool things. And the sound creators. Yeah. So, I've always loved the rifle sound. So, there you go. There's my Gryzor run. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching fun to play. Always will be. Uh, I was meaning to do a two-player run, but uh, I, I just have too much fun playing this by myself. So, maybe, maybe another time. And thank you, Konami, for creating one of my favorite games, period. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll catch you another time.